This one's uh, one I decided to do. I had a one of my viewers calling in asking about how to change the hot surface igniter on these train furnaces. Now this is a TUY, pretty much works for TUX and TDX too. And it actually works for a number of other brands because it's, it's fairly uh, generic. Anyway, flame sensors here, hot surface igniters here. I'm gonna pull these covers off and then we'll take a look at what's inside and how to get those parts out. Okay, before we start taking anything apart, shut off the power. Make sure your power shut off before you do anything inside the furnace. Okay, here we've got the uh, cover removed. Here we have the wire going to the hot surface igniter. There's gonna be two wires going to the hot surface igniter. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is pull the wire off to the hot surface igniter. And then there's two screws up there. You can see these screws right here. You just gotta take those off and bring it out. Now this one has a silicon nitride igniter. It's not hard to remove and it is pretty tough. Some of these have the silicon carbide igniter and all, let's see if I can scare one of those up. That's a silicon carbide and it's very delicate. So you gotta be really careful taking it out. Of course, if you're gonna replace it, it's no big deal. Okay, this one, this is silicon nitride igniter. Uh, the bracket you're gonna keep and you just take this screw out here and that'll and the uh, igniter will come out and you just put a new one in it. Uh, this one, testing in this one is simple enough. It's uh, 13 to 18 ohms. If it was uh, this one here, it would be a maximum of 150, usually runs 80 or 90. You should test the controls on these appliances when you're uh, replacing these parts. Okay, simple enough. Plug the silly plug back in. And you've actually got this done. One thing I will tell you, prepare to get a few scrapes. I think train actually employs somebody to come in at night and sharpen all these edges because they're a pain in the butt that way. But anyway, it's done. Now I'm gonna do the testing of the unit. First, I wanna take a look at the hot surface igniter when it starts to warm up. And you wanna look this thing over and be sure it's working right. We're ready to start. Now I'm gonna turn on the furnace. I've just turned on the switch. Now it's gonna take a little while for this to go because it's an electronic thermostat and they have a little bit of a delay in them. Okay, you can see it's on. Okay, the burner's lit and they're staying lit. So, look at it close. I can't really get close enough with this camera, but look close at it, be sure the, the heating is even throughout the hot surface igniter. And of course the flame has stayed on. Now, one of the things I'd like you to check while you're doing this is to be sure that the flame safety operates. Now here over at the flame rod, I'm gonna pull the wire off. Okay, it shut off just like it should. A second, maybe less, it should shut off. Always test this when you first uh, fire up something after you've replaced some sort of part on it. In every time. Now I notice the hot surface igniter is coming on again, and it's gonna try to light again. Now it's gonna do this three times, and then you look in your little window down the bottom. See, it just tried to light again, and because the flame rod wire is off, it's not going to light. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look down for that little window right there, and I'm not gonna to try to get in front of it. But as soon as this thing tries three times and shuts down, it is going to start blinking you code, flame failure code. That's what you're looking for. That means it's gone into hard lockout. That means it's working normally. So 
So when you've done all this, get your cover back on and fire up the furnace again. Turn the furnace off at the switch. There's going to be a light switch on the side. Turn the furnace off at the switch and then turn it back on and wait for it to start again. And then you're done. Once it's started, you know it's working. Okay, that's it on that one.